Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. For today's video, I will talk to you a little bit about brain health. So what brain health is, is the ability to remember, learn, plan, concentrate, and maintain a clear and active mind. It's important to exercise the brain to improve your memory, focus, and your overall daily functionality. People of all ages can benefit from incorporating a few simple brain exercises into their daily life. There are many activities you could do that offers brain boosting benefits. There's card games, dancing, learning new languages, playing an instrument, things like that. The more you work out your brain, the better you'll be able to process and remember new information. The best brain exercises breaks your routine and challenges you to use and develop new brain pathways. So there are four key elements of a good brain boosting activity. One, it teaches you something new, uh, activities that's out of your comfort zone and you need to keep learning and developing new skills. Two, it's challenging, um, activities that require mental effort. Uh, learning to play a new piece of music counts, but not playing a piece of music that you've already memorized, it, but you consider it challenging. Um, three, it's a skill, it's skills that you can build on. Um, something that pushes the envelope so you can continue to stretch your capabilities. Uh, once you master an activity or feel comfortable with it, maybe tackling on to the next uh, level of whatever it might be. And four, it's rewarding activities that you find interesting since you're more likely to continue doing it. So like I said before, focusing on your brain health is one of the best things you can do to improve your concentration, focus, memory, and mental agility, uh, no matter what age you are. So sleep, nutrition, physical activity, they're important factors in promoting brain health, but I'm going to be covering that in like other videos. So right now we're just going to be focusing on activities that you can do either on your phone, computer, tablet, or right there in front of you. So I found this really cool website called braingold.com. Um, it's just a whole bunch of activities that you can do to give your brain a workout. There's brain teasers, there's puzzles, there's quizzes, um, you can build your vocabulary, there's uh, card games, you know, just play around with the website and see what you like. I'm sure there's something on here that you can do. Um, there's tabs up here, puzzles, trivia, mental aerobics, games, and community. Um, there's like a page where you can, you know, talk to other people that are on here. Um, you can make your own account right here. Um, it's absolutely free. It just helps you keep track of, you know, all of your activities you're doing. So, um, this is a really cool puzzle I saw. Uh, it's called a rebus puzzle. Uh, you just have to decipher this phrase, which means that you have to find something like a, a common phrase really that kind of represents this so fairy wolf and duckling you know give give yourself a few minutes to think of it think of what phrase it could be if you still don't know you know click on show hint and it's what are they like um you know kind of think about it what is a fairy like what is a wolf like or what it what is a duckling like um and if you still don't know you can do show answer and it comes up with um the good, the bad, and the ugly. Oh, that's pretty clever. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of that right here on the side. So if you go to um, Rebus, click on that, and then there's like different types of things that people have made. It's really cool. Um, so let's click on Meow, Moo, and crack, Quack. So can you figure out this Rebus? So it's D-O-C-T-O-R, so doctor, but these two letters are lowercase, so, you know, give yourself a few minutes, try to come up with something, if not, then show hint, the title is a hint. Okay, so, you know, keep thinking, meow, moo, and quack apparently is the hint. Still don't know, alright, let's show our answer. So, Dr. Doolittle, okay. That's interesting. So doctor and then the do is little. Hmm, pretty cool. All right, so let's find other stuff. So let's go up here to games. So there's a whole, oh, okay. So I love puzzles. So you can click on puzzles. There's like Sudoku, which I used to do all the time when I was younger. I haven't had enough free time to do it right now, but I will definitely start getting into it again. Um, there's Tetris, there's you know, word searches, which is great. So let's go to word search. Um, 
let's click on this first one and then this is just a really neat thing that people have made so let's find baseball mm. there has to be a strategy um let's see let's start on top and then oh i think i already found racquetball without even like looking so i'm gonna click on it and then highlight that and so it crosses it off and then you can move on to i already found water polo without even realizing yeah so some of this is probably going to be easy so you know you still want to be making sure that you're challenged but there's other things that you can do so check it out it's really cool it's called brangle.com